Ladies and gentlemen, fishy friends, welcome back to Meg Aquarium. That's right, I'm over the potato. Let's immediately jump into the water. Jump in at the deep end. I'm trying to think up some fishy aquarium related puns and draw on a blank, frankly. Anyway, um, our, our aquarium is reaching its final form. We are very, very close to, to unlocking the secrets. Uh, of how to run a successful aquarium, I guess. We're on level 9, prestige level 9 out of prestige level 12, so uh, a couple more a couple more levels to go, and almost all of our fish have been unlocked. Speaking of, the giant hatchet fish is actually a, uh, is a requirement at this moment in time, because uh, we're gonna get paid. We're gonna get paid a, a heck of a lot in order to in order to find a place for it, and so therefore I gotta, I gotta buy it. I gotta buy it, I gotta do it. Uh, right, is this a particularly acidic tank? It's a particularly acidic tank. Have we got any wimpy fish in here, or any bully fish in here? I don't think so. Not as far as I'm aware. So maybe we can just stick the giant hatchet fish straight into that tank. I think that might be an opportunity, might be an option. Uh, we need three of them. I don't think that that's gonna be too difficult. One, two, three. I mean, we will need to get some more uh, some more stuff, but that's not too much of a problem. And yeah, we need insufficient. In we need insufficient. What am I talking about? We need more cover, but I think that that should be entirely doable, right? Hmm. Maybe, maybe not. Purely because, yeah, purely because if we do that, then that torpedoes the three by three open space that we that we have, and we kind of need to keep that space free. Let me have a little look. Okay. Uh, ditch what I just threw in here. And we'll see if we can find any other suitable plant life. Any other floating floating plant life. Uh, there's definitely there's definitely space for it in here. If I was to move this around just a smidgen. There we go. Move that over there. Excellent. And then throw in the floating lettuce thingamabobber. We still need one additional one additional bit of plant life. Okay, I think I can I think I can do this. Okay, let's sell this bit uh, and let's sell that little pile of rocks over there. And what do you know, one additional floating lettuce, bada bim bada boom. We we got what we need. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Everyone is happy. Everyone seems happy. Uh, apart from a little bit of a filtration issue, but that may well be because we need to let a machine get fixed, or indeed that may not be the issue. We may just need to get a larger uh, nitrate reactor. Throw that down, does that work? That doesn't even do it, to be honest. That's it's a bit of a concern, to be honest with you. Uh, was kind of anticipating that maybe we'd have a little bit, a little bit more filter quality. Gosh darn, that's uh, that's kind of brutal actually. Only 77 out of 80, out of 80 filtration, and that's with two, that's with two large filters and a large nitrate filter as well. I mean, this is a huge, huge tank. Hmm. Hmm. Can connect up to two tanks. Okay, so we could bring in, we could bring in another pump. We could bring in this pump if indeed. Actually, no, we can't because the protein the protein skimmers don't unfortunately work in freshwater tanks. Okay, just try throwing down another nitrate dispenser. See if that makes any difference. That seems to do the trick. Uh, we'll need to open up this area in order to in order to allow people to get past to fix things and whatnot. Uh, and then these bits and bobs should probably be moved somewhere more accessible. There we go. Okay, that looks good. I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, and that throws in the additional giant hatchet fish that we actually needed in order to make this whole thing work, which is brilliant. We've got a large pump, which can connect up to 18 tiles away and also can connect up to four tanks. So that would be really, really good. Can you imagine if we could consolidate all of our, all of our pumping down to like one single pumping station? That would be brilliant, wouldn't it? That would be excellent. Maybe I could do something like that with all of these tanks. That might be that might be something that we should do, actually. I say that it's something we should do. I think it is something that we should do. Okay, so we connect up you to there. How do I connect up uh, how do I connect up again? Add tank two, add tank three, add tank 
four. Excellent. Okay, so then move you to here. Move you to there. And sell you, sell you, sell you, sell you. And sell you, and sell you too. Okay. Have we got some... We've got some death-related issues. I say death-related issues. That sounds really bad to say, but... You know what I mean, right? Okay, move this around a little bit. Oh, do I need to reconnect? I need to reconnect all the tanks. So, I don't want to move. I don't want to move this again. Okay. Excellent. So, filtration is an issue. Let me sell that. Let me sell that. Let me get a big... A big, 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 large filter. In fact, we've already... We already had a large filter. We need a mega filter. This is a job for a mega filter. And it's also probably a job for a... In fact, maybe we could even just make do with a large combi. How about that? Let me try that. Uh, not quite, but we throw down a... We throw down a large protein skimmer. Does that end up working out? That ends up working out not too shabby at all. Okay, so we've consolidated a whole bunch of equipment down to... Well, literally three bits of equipment. And one of which can't break down, because this uh, this pump cannot break down, which is excellent. Only these two bits of equipment can break down. Okay, I don't know where else we'd be able to do that, but it's definitely possible to consolidate another few, you know, bits and bobs into... Uh, down into down into one simple pumping setup. So that may very well be something that we think about doing in the future. Uh, but for now, why don't we spend some of this massive amount of cash to build a brand new freshwater tank? A U tank? We don't have we don't have any U tanks, do we? A feeding platform tank. We also do not have any feeding platform tanks. Why don't I get one of these? Oh my goodness, it can be quite large. Okay, you know what? Something like that. That's pretty decent. How the heck did you get up there? I have absolutely no idea how people are supposed to clamber up here, but uh, it's probably something to do with stairs, and indeed that looks to be that looks to be wholly acceptable. Excellent. The giant hatchet fish turned good. Very happy with that. Okay, what other fish do we need to throw into this tank? Freshwater fish definitely need to be... Okay, let's buy four of those. Cool. So, Achilles surgeon fish. Excellent. Anything else? I mean, this is a pretty... This is a... This is a... This needs to be a freshwater tank. Very sorry, video game. But, on that note, the Achilles surgeon fish could probably fit in somewhere quite easily, in fact. Probably not here, because these are quite big, big tank fish. Get two of them in there. Try that. Achilles surgeon fish. The filtration quality is poor. But apart from that, apart from that, it's actually totally fine, right? Yeah, I think that's, I think that's totally acceptable. Okay, uh, we need to get a little bit more rocks. Hmm, I don't even know if we've got space for rocks. Let's have a little look, shall we? Okay, this can get sold. And we need to find four rocks to fit into the space of one. Live rocks? Hmm, I think not. Flat slate? What if we sell one of these disco mushrooms? Yeah, sell one of the disco mushrooms. Also sell one of the Achilles surgeon fish that we just put in. And that will reduce the rock requirement just a little bit. And then we can put in a flat slate over here, which totally which totally satisfies everything. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. How the heck did you get behind the scenes here? You need to go right back out to the front. And then I need to add... I need to add... Okay, you know what I'm going to do? I'm actually going to sell this. Sell this whole setup. Add a bit of extra space out here. Throw in a large pump. Although it only needs to necessarily be a power pump. Because the power pump can be connected up to two tanks. And then throw down some additional filtration stuff over here. So we'll throw down a, a large protein skimmer for one. See if that makes any difference. Yep, that is totally, totally adequate. And so that is a, another fish totally taken care of. Wonderful. Okay, back to the freshwater stuff. What do we need? A red... 
Striped Earth Eater. It's called an Earth Eater, and yet it is a wimp. That's not super great. Uh, it's a wimp. Okay, so these two fish can go together, right? Yeah, these, these guppies. These guppies need to be in a shawl of five. Throw them in there. How many fish do these need to be in? A two? Two or more? Okay, that's cool. So as long as we have... As long as we have all of the requirements for habitation, I don't think... I don't think these fish should, uh... Should have an, un, an unsafe time together. Okay, so throw that down. That takes care of that. Let's get a whole bunch of weeds, etc. And some houses as well. A pitted column. Lovely. And some bogwood logs. Very, very slight amount of bogwood logs, though. We don't want to end up diluting the acid. No, we want to concentrate. We don't want to concentrate the acid too much. And then throw down five bits of plant life. It's going to be a little bit of a barren tank, but uh, frankly, I don't really care. It's not a problem. It's not a problem that I care about that much at all. Barren tank is, uh, is, is fine as long as it... As long as it does the job. Okay, that is unacceptably weak. We'll throw down that tank instead. Okay, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Vegetables and shrimp. Let me get two little feeding stations over here. Uh, vegetables. And shrimp, too. Okay, so hopefully we don't have any eating issues. If people don't eat each other, then that's great. It's also great if fish don't eat each other. I'm sure you already knew that. Uh, brine shrimp. Yep, yeah, that's the one. Excellent. Okay, and then delete this bit of wall right here. Because it is no longer needed. Same with that. Excellent. And what do you know, we've got ourselves another two fish down already. Man, it feels so good just to get another couple of fish down. It really is great. Nibbleable gardener's kill fish. I mean, anything else that's neutral can go in there absolutely perfect we rank up at the start of the episode uh what do we got aztec paint rubber weed gaping cavern oh goodness gracious me that's so rude okay uh, electric eel a dwarf crocodile a mega ro machine a massage chair really a massage chair at a aquarium oh, there you go also a black tip a black tip reef shark that sounds kind of fun let me throw down some decorations because uh, I've noticed that these red striped earth eaters are a little bit unhappy with their perhaps reasonably mediocre uh, living conditions. Modern art? Sure, we'll throw down some modern art. Excellent. I think maybe these red striped earth eaters are some of the only creatures that can appreciate modern art. So I'm delighted to delighted to put it in there. Okay, what am I looking for now? Probably another tank in order to accommodate some other fish. But before we do that, let me see if I can find any other fish to go in this tank, just in general. I tell you what, we're getting really close to just having all fish. All fish everywhere. red tail catfish? You eat stuff between a size of 3 and 16. Um, 3 and 16. I mean, maybe we should just make another big, another big fish tank. I think we should I think we should have a big fish tank. Right. Let's get another bit of area opened up over here. We will paint this all in just a second, but you know, for now let's just for now let's just concentrate on what's important. Uh is this not an expandable tank? Okay, this this tank cannot be expanded in any direction, which is exceedingly lame. So instead, we will see if we can get a big tank. A bridge tank seems to be what we're after. Let's expand a little bit more. I mean, we've got so much money now that we're actually we're actually in fine financial conditions. Okay, so throw that down over here. Okay, so that looks pretty decent actually, and it's also blooming huge. It's blooming huge. So, what fish do we want to get in it? We want to get big fish, very very big fish. That cannot be eaten by small fish. 
Okay, the red tail catfish eats stuff between 3 and 16. This only eats crustaceans. Uh, so you could probably be put somewhere with other fish, to be honest. Acidic water. This is in a. This is not an acidic tank. This is an acidic tank. We could throw in here, although I suspect that that will not be. Yeah, that will not be an easy. That will not be an easy time for you, Riptail Catfish, because we'd need to get some. We need to get some bitter rocks. If we wanted to, if we wanted to make you happy, well, we might be able to squeeze some rocks in here. Let's uh, let's have a little look. See, what do we need? Nine, nine habitable bits. Okay, a rocky overhang. That ain't a bad start at all. And then we just need to throw down one other house bit. Mm, I think it'll need to be a driftwood log though. Does that make everyone happy? That makes everyone happy. Okay, excellent. So that's a that's a ripsaw catfish taken care of. Didn't really think that that would be as easy as it was to, to deal with, but excellent. Okay, uh, and that's acidic, and that's that's fine. Yeah, excellent. Okay, so a red tail catfish. Catfish is huge, absolutely gargantuan. Grows up to a size of forty two. That is huge. That is absolutely huge. Can we stick a panther crab down somewhere as well? It is a crustacean, so it is, so it is edible by, uh, by rather a lot of stuff. Three to six, maybe you know if this, if these crabs deal with acidic conditions, mm, they don't. They deal with neutral conditions, which is somewhat of an issue, um, because the piranhas. The piranhas are, the piranhas are, uh, require neutral water. What about in here? What about this tank that I just created? Crustaceans with a size of three to, one to three. I actually think, I actually think, that this tank might be perfect for these panther crabs, because they've got an armored size of eight. So all of these fish here are too small to, uh, too small to pick on them. Cool. All right. One, two, three, four. Uh oh, no, we can't stick him in here because the because the guppies the guppies are nibbleable and the crabs are nibblers. Yeah, so that's a no go. That is a uh, a big old no go. This is an acidic tank. This is a neutral tank. What's wrong with this tank? Is there anything specifically wrong with this tank? Lack of stimulation from decorations. If that's it, then that's probably okay, right? I don't think these guys can eat uh, crustaceans of this size. I mean, because they're armored, they've got a pretty decent, pretty decent defense mechanism. So we throw down another couple of bogwood trees, and we'll be golden here, actually. Yeah, three additional bogwood trees. Excellent. It doesn't make it super acidic. Uh, we're waiting for a pump repair over here, but that's cool. Okay, that's uh, that's absolutely excellent, absolutely excellent indeed. Wonderful. Okay, let's actually throw down the catfish now because that's still one of the fishes that I require most. The fan shrimp. Uh, I thought I had a fan shrimp somewhere. I thought I had a fan shrimp somewhere. Hmm. We need more decorations for that fish as well, which I can sort out right now just by throwing down a ship's wheel. Excellent. Okay, should we should we try sticking some fan shrimps in there? I am I am unconvinced. Nibbler is present. Yeah. Okay. So that's a that's a no-go. But what about in this tank over here? Let's do four. What do they need? Do they need anything? Uh, anything else? They need some additional bogwood, but that's that's about it. That's that's actually pretty decent. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. Let's throw in some bogwood and call it a day there. Bogwood trunk. We'll throw in a bogwood trunk again. Increases the acidity a little bit, but it's still very very neutral. Very 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 neutral. All right. The panther crab needs needs what? 
Uh, it needs better water quality. That's what it needs. And it also presumably needs to be fed. And it hasn't been fed yet. And it requires supplements, and supplements are ridiculously expensive. But, needs must, I guess. Also, we've unlocked an OJ squeezer. Excellent stuff. Excellent, excellent, excellent stuff. So, we've got rather a complex couple of freshwater tanks now. Which is, which is good. Which is very, very good. I'm, I'm happy about that. What's going on here? We've got a filtration issue, apparently. Which is a bit of a bummer. Leopard shark has grown. Okay, that's because it's because everything has leveled up in this in this tank here. We're gonna need to find space for uh, for another bit of equipment, another mega filter, perhaps. Will that do it? That will indeed do it. Wonderful. Let's just expand this wall out there, and that makes everything accessible. If I move this around a little bit, cool, excellent. Okay, so. I, uh, I got this tank, like, 20 minutes ago because I wanted to buy a red-tailed catfish. Buy two of them. That's right. And then we will figure out the rest of it. Can anything go in that tank with it? I don't think so. Man, that red... It's huge. It just grows huge. I think that must be the biggest fish that I own thus far, right? Must be. Must be. The, the Paku, the Pachu, is pretty darn large, but... Not as large as this thing. Not as large as this thing at all. Okay, so can I get down a long-range pumping operation, please? I very much hope that I can. Right, so will we be able to stretch this entire distance? We totally can. All right, let's fast forward until I've got enough money. Excellent. And then we need filtration, we need temperature, etc. And we also need just, in general, a little bit more space to play around with. Let me get a water filter down in the first instance. 410 for a mega filter, but that's not going to be enough, is it? Oh, apparently it is. I suppose we, all, we only have a couple. We only have a couple of fish in the tank. That will change, of course, as we go, as we develop... As we develop more fish. I don't know. Are we developing fish? We're uncovering fish, I guess. Whatever the case. It's fine. Uh, large combi. Do I want to get a large combi? Is a large combi even required? Not particularly. A large heater is required. Let's get a large heater down. And that's and that's that, to be honest. That is, that is that. A gaping cavern. Excellent. So we get a gaping cavern. And that is good. Uh, that does cost two grand, though. Two grand for a gaping cavern. That's rather a lot. Cool. We've got some roach over here. Wonderful. Okay, that's excellent. Don't quite know how we managed to go go negative, but that's fine. Totally, totally fine. We want to see if we can try and accomplish a couple of additional uh, a couple of additional financial objectives. This doesn't actually give us finance, but it gives us gives us prestige. Very nice. Uh, but we, we, you know, we want money. Money is, money is great. Money is very, very helpful, as it turns out, for, uh, for running an aquarium. But still looking for that gaping cavern to tide me over. And it gives us six prestige as well, which is, which is nice and, nice and excellent. How, again, how did I manage to lose all that money by paying my staff? I really didn't think that I paid my staff that much. Uh, large tunnel tank, excellent. Very, very good indeed. Yeah, presumably some people are going to be pretty unhappy with the barren nature of this tank. It is pretty desolate, to be honest. Pretty darn desolate. Okay, gaping cavern. Throw that down in the corner over there. That's actually quite cool. Oh, man. A black tip reef shark. Right. Uh, can I stick this in, in here? I don't think I can. I don't think I can. I think we are... What about over here? What about over here? Does the black tip reef shark eat? Uh, does it eat? Does it eat crustaceans? It doesn't eat crustaceans. These things are crustaceans. How much does it cost? Seven hundred bucks. Black tip reef shark. All that we require is oh, okay. That's a problem. 
So it's the wrong temperature for it. Uh, well, I don't even know if we have any other warm water. I don't think we have any other warm water curved tanks. Apart from this one, obviously. But we can't stick this one in because the regal tanks are in here. And they would just get absolutely demolished by the, by the black tip reef shark. I guess I could open another exhibit in shark land. Which, I guess it kind of is. I guess it's kind of shark landy. Crustaceans of the size of one to... I mean, what if we stick this in here? Okay, it's far too warm. Hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Let's move both of these to here. How does that look? How does that look? There's a filtration issue, but they... Wow, they, they fit right in. That's excellent. It might be a filtration issue that I can fix. It might not be a filtration issue that I can fix. I.e. something that my employees can fix. I may have to add... A protein skimmer. Or it may be fine. That's not going to work, is it? This is never going to work. Yeah, throw that down there. Add an extra level. And move everything back. Cool. Alrighty, that's grand. A large tunnel tank. Brilliant. A medium beach tank for more turtles. It's very, very cool indeed. Okay. Okay. So let's open another let's open another shark exhibit, shall we? I think that's what's I think that's what's next on the list. So we'll just hollow this entire area out. And then what do we want to go for? Another Belfast tank? Kinda don't like the, the Belfast tank vibe. What if what if we were to buy our brand new our brand new type of tank? Oh my goodness. This is incredible. Yes, please. Yes, 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 please. Okay, I think I know exactly what's going to happen here. We're going to... We're going to buy a whole bunch of area out here. Excellent. And then we're going to buy a large tunnel tank. And we're going to continue... We're going to continue down... Oh, actually, does this does this count as having... Oh, no, this doesn't count as... Uh, this doesn't count as a curved tank. Which is a big problem. Because the sharks need curved enclosures, don't they? I think they do. Yeah, it needs a rounded tank to be... To be happy. Because it's constantly on the move. That is a real bummer. Alright. We are on to rank 10 fish. How good is this? Okay, well I guess we just need to revert to a Belfast tank then. Either that or a small tunnel tank. I think a small tunnel tank is actually probably okay. I mean, it's not as glamorous as a large tunnel tank, but it might just it might just do what we require. Also, how is it that staff don't stop people from going behind this door? I know I deleted the wall, but that's kind of not my fault, right? It's just a temporary it's a temporary occurrence. Medium beach tank, excellent. Have we got any a Chicago tank? Hmm. Maybe, 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 actually. Let's go for let's go for this in the first instance, and then we'll worry about we'll worry about other tank types later. Okay. So big, 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 big tank here. That'll go in there. Uh let me close this area up here. Not enough money? Do I not get money back? Do I not make money for closing closing areas off? There we go. No, apparently I don't I don't I don't get money from doing that. Okay, fine. Let's stop this nonsense. Let's move you out here. Move you out here. Move you out here. Let's get a wall over here. That's fine. Okay, excellent. Let's get let's get them sharks in the tank. Black tip reef shark. Okay, one, two. Two of them. Excellent. And what else do we need? Just the standard sort of stuff. Mega filter, etc. And temperature. Big, big heater. 
feel like maybe I should start building smaller tanks. So that I have, you know, so that I have to heat less stuff. But then again, that almost seems even more cruel than keeping a, keeping a fish and not feeding it, as we already do. You know? I kind of feel like should make some uh, should make some big tanks so that the fish can have a reasonably good life. All right, stick down a large protein filter over here. Large protein skimmer probably doesn't need to be large, not at this moment in time, but it will be. A starry smooth hound. Ooh, nice. And wait until I've got the money to do the large protein skimmer. Excellent. Uh, except it's not excellent because I have completely neglected the fact that I need to make sure that there is a uh, a podium up here so that people can feed the darn things. Cool. All right, what do we got? Herring and supplements. Well, we've got the herring over here, but we need to add the supplement cabinet. Cool. Add that in over there. Wonderful. So it's pretty barren in here at the moment, but that's okay. We're going to be adding some additional fish. A starry smooth hand. One. What's your issue? Oh, your issue is that it needs to be cold. Well, do I have the place for you? You fit right in there? Do you fit right in here? What do we got? You need to be fed, and the filtration quality is decreased. Yeah, you're actually totally fine. Crustaceans are the size of 1 to 11. You've got an armor size of 18, and you've got an armored size of 32. So these common lobsters and these pie crust crabs ain't going anywhere. Ain't going anywhere. Excellent. That's really, really good. Okay, uh, connect this tank up. And it works. It absolutely works. Okay, so this is like our cold water... Cold water crustacean tank with... I don't know, an additional shark in for now. That's kind of fun, kind of funky. Any other fish that we need to get that can be kept with these sharks? They don't necessarily have to be kept with the sharks, but I think that's most of the fish that we've that we've got. Size of 5 to 10. Do these black tip reef sharks eat other fish? They do. They do. It's a shame. That's a, it is a real shame. Eel, I guess we could get a I guess we could stick an eel in there if we wanted to. Slender seahorse would definitely be destroyed. But we've already got seahorse anyway, so it's fine. Uh, Atlantic cod. Mackerel. I would love to put the... I'd love to put mackerel into the cold water tank, but we don't have that opportunity at this moment in time. I tell you what, mackerel. Um, the blue quitting and the Atlantic cod can all go in a tank together. They can all go in a cold water a cold water tank, which we will do in just a second. A lump sucker. Interesting. I mean the lump sucker could the lump sucker go into the cold water tank over here? I think it can actually. Starfish size. Yeah, okay. Uh, dislikes food competitors. Does anyone else eat mussels in here? What's the issue? Mussel eaters are present. Do the crabs eat mussels? The crabs eat flipping mussels. Oh, gosh darn it. I was, I was optimistic for a second there. Well, maybe we can stick him in the big cold water tank that I'm about to make. Okay, anyway, that's the sharks. They're in there. That's cool, I guess. No, it's actually not cool. It's actually reasonably warm. Uh, right, so. We've got the catfish down. Something is broken at the back, but that's fine. Not kept in acidic water? It's because the RO machines have broken down, apparently. Can I get these RO machines replaced with one single RO machine? Is that maybe an idea? That would seem to be somewhat of a solution. Also, I think some naughty fish decided to eat my plants. I said it. 
Uh, this is the wrong type of... The wrong type of stuff. There we go. Okay. Try that. Okay. One big fresh water tank. No, not fresh water tank. Just a cold... Just a cold tank. Just a big... A big cold tank. And then we also need to repaint these surfaces over here. That's definitely something that I want to do. I guess the Atlantic Cod tank can go over here. Does it need to be... Does it need to be large? It doesn't need to be huge. I would love to get... I would love to get a large tunnel tank. Like, dearly love to get a large tunnel tank. Oh, it looks so... It looks so good. It looks so good. It looks so brilliant, doesn't it? A UV sterilizer helps achieve higher water quality. Ah, interesting. There you go. Calcium reactor, presumably that also helps with uh, with water quality. I imagine so. Okay, lots of people leveling up. Any any money making deals? Interested in some bonnet head shark? They want an electric eel that is fully grown. No. I'm afraid, I'm afraid not. I'm afraid we don't have any interest in getting any of the other fish that are for sale at this moment in time. At this moment in time. That may well change in the future if indeed, if indeed I need, uh, I need some fish for, for something. Like, for example, the butterfly ram. I'm pretty sure you can buy the butterfly ram. Epaulet shark, tinfoil barb. I mean, we've got most of we've got most of the stuff that is fully grown here. Southern stingray, wolfish. Uh, but butterfly ram, discus, copperhead butterfly, copper band butterfly. Etc. You you get what I'm you get what I'm saying. There's definitely a couple of fish that are available for sale, which we might pick up. <gasps> a greater blue ring octopus. Oh boy, this looks cool. This looks very very cool. It's a deal. I've got to buy octopus. Octopuses. Whatever. Let's uh. Let's move on. What what are you unhappy about? Shouldn't be heater be hidden somewhere out of the way? Oh my god. Yeah, there you go. Get out of here. Get out of here. What a jerk. What a total, total jerk. Can't you see that this area is under renovation? Is that not abundantly obvious? If not, it should be. It's on you, not me. Okay, so how much is this tank going to cost me? Seven grand? Okay, I'm not actually far off. Not actually far off making that amount of money we're very very close and this is going to be this is going to be a big cold water tank for all of our all of our fish that would exist in the sea and fish that are edible i mean i guess technically all fish are edible if you look at it from one perspective but you know what i mean i'm thinking you know atlantic cod mackerel all of that sort of stuff we want to get in this big tank here look at the size of this beast Oh, it is an excellent, excellent, excellent tank. Uh, where do I want to... Yeah, you know what? Actually, leaving it in that in that orientation is, is totally, totally acceptable. Let's close up this. There we go. I do get a little bit of cash back. Wonderful. And then we will create... We'll create another walkway around here. So, something like this... There we go. Down there. Down here. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Excellent. Okay, and then we will create some walls over here so that people don't get in. Because we all know how irritating people can be. Let's get this area opened up. Wonderful. And we will get you moved out of here because you are... Not supposed to be in there. All right, wonderful. So we've got a lot, a lot of space around the back here for, for good stuff. Well, look at how tall the steps need to be in order to, in order to feed the, in order to feed the fish in this tank. 
Cool. All right. Let me throw in the fish that I wanna that I wanna get thrown in. So, what have we got? We have got. We have got Atlantic mackerel. We need six of them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh goodness gracious me! This is gonna be expensive. Okay. Before I do this, why don't I try and get the tank appropriately filtered and chilled? Because that will be a challenge. Because it's so darned large. We might even have to approach it from both angles, to be honest. Right. Dare I say, is it time to get a mega double filter? Or even a triple filter? It's definitely time for something. Alright, we'll get the chiller next. Does that do the job? Not quite. Not even close, actually. Well, not far off. We need one more mega chiller. That gets us to the appropriate degree of chilliness. Then let's throw down a triple filter, which should just boost things up. Just a smidgen, although that costs rather a large amount of money. Cool. All right. That's looking very, very nice indeed. We need to get mussels over here. Sorry, cockles as opposed to mussels. Completely different, apparently. Now, are the fish in this tank happy? The mackerel are happy as Larry. Excellent. A massage chair. Don't think it's appropriate for an aquarium. Probably not going to put one in my aquarium, but you never know. Money is money, right? Also, I need to get some paint. Let me get some paint. Uh, this is sleek, isn't it? The sleek design. Let's, see, let's get all this stuff painted. There we go. Nice. Nice and sleek. Excellent. That looks that looks much better. Apart from the fact that this has to remain blue on the outside, which I find rather irritating, but eh, I guess it's fine. Okay. Let's add the additional fish in that I wanted to get into this tank before the close of play today. What did I say? The blue witting? I need six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and that means that we just need a bit of plant life in order to make these fish happy. And one more. Excellent. There we go. Okay, now filtration is an issue as I thought it would be. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to sell this machine right there. And instead, I'm going to buy... I'm going to buy a large... A large triple filter. It needs to be fixed every three days. However, I'm kind of optimistic that this thing is going to be... What takes us over the top. In terms of... Uh, in terms of water quality. Although, in saying that... Maybe it is just a step too far. A calcium... A calcium reactor. Oh, it increases coral growth. Decreases the number of days it takes for coral to grow by 30%. Okay, so maybe that's something that we want to throw down sort of behind the scenes. If I ever get, like, a growing area, it might be a nice idea to have a, a growth accelerant in some of those tanks. Just thinking out loud here. Right, what else? Atlantic cod, so we need to get... Well, we can have any number of these, really. Uh, but we'll get, we'll get, like, what, four? One, two, three, four. Four Atlantic cod. Wonderful. Okay, and that is not even that is not even a quarter. Well, it's just over a quarter. Just over a quarter of all of the capacity of this tank has been filled. So that's very, very cool. Right. Uh give me some cockles. Cockles, and that is us in a great place. Also, mussels. Let's get some mussels. Cool. Excellent. All right, and so that is the that is the cold water tank taken care of. Excellent. I wonder if I can stick an octopus in there. I feel like an octopus would do well in that tank. Just saying. Uh, big egg jelly. I only have one place for a jellyfish. I only okay, and it's the wrong place for a jellyfish. Apparently, we need to get a warm water jellyfish enclosure now, which is irritating in the extreme. Because I thought, I thought we would only need one. To be honest with you, I thought we would only need one. 
Turns out, I was mistaken. Okay. Oh, I want to get a dwarf crocodile so badly. Oh, it's going to be great. It's going to be great when we unlock that. That is going to be incredible. Okay. Right. Well, uh, so that's the next tank that we need to make. We need a jelly tank. We definitely need a jelly tank. Guppy fry. Guppy's pregnant. Whatever. That doesn't matter. None of this really matters. Red-bellied piranha wasn't kept in acidic water. Ooh, I should make a return over to the piranha enclosure. Because the piranhas, I think, need to be as part of like a six, a six group. So I should add a couple more piranhas in here. There we go. Okay. I know. I'm sorry that a couple of piranhas ended up dying. It's not my fault. It's entirely my fault for not having enough staff. I should probably have some more staff, but at the same time, I feel like I've got rather a lot at this moment in time. Yeah, I think I'm. I think I'm fine. I think I'm fine. Okay, we got tool stations over here. That is excellent. We've got a multitude of fish in this tank, which is grand. This is a really barren tank. It really is. Water temperature is too high. Yeah, can we get this all fixed up, please? That is excellent. Wonderful. Wonderful stuff. Okay. Uh, what else did I say we needed to do? We need to get a jellyfish tank. Oh, look. They're all swimming in sequence. Look at that. That is freaky. Very, very freaky indeed. Okay. Where should the jellyfish tank go? I feel like the jellyfish tank should go around here because we've already got a jellyfish tank around here. So why don't I make a little gap in the sleek zone and then connect it behind the scenes. And then we'll put a jellyfish tank in the back here. It's got to be a it's got to be a jellyfish tank because the jellyfish tanks are the only types of tank that can actually go in here, which is fine. Let's see if we can retract that. No, that's not possible to do. That is possible to do though. That's kind of irritating. Hmm. Right. Let me try to move this back a little bit, then ditch that, yeah, move that back, and then move this into the front there, cool, okay, uh, and then obviously it needs to be rotated because it needs to look out that way, excellent, 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 right, so we plop the jellyfish in, in the first instance, it's the egg fried, the Fr sorry, not the egg fried. The fried egg jelly. So what, we get two of them? And then we fix the filtration. We fix the... We fix the light situation. It's not often that we have to deal with lights, but uh, we will deal with lights, obviously, because we want to make sure that they don't die. Okay, mega heater. Excellent. Uh, in fact, you know what? Don't even bother with a mega heater. It's not even... Not even required. We will just get a large heater instead, and we will throw down some lights, which are at the very bottom here. A power light seems sufficient, so that's what we will do. And we need some of this live Artima. We've got live Artima up over there. If I just connect things, at the, if I just open this area up, then we should be able to, we should be able to supply the large Artima over here directly. Move this around there. That goes there. And that goes there. Excellent. Okay, that's it's a bit of a bit of an empty bit of an empty enclosure, but it is it is a hot jelly zone. And that's kind of what matters, right? As long as it works, it works. Okay, sleek sleek paint. Put it all in sleek colors. Excellent. I tell you what, this entire area needs to be sleekified. Man, a dwarf crocodile. I'm so ready for a dwarf crocodile. I am ridiculously ready for a dwarf crocodile. Okay, slop the paint all on here. Little bit surprised, by the way, that we haven't hit our next level yet. Like, that is... Uh, 
That is somewhat surprising. I suppose we do have to get all the way up to 6,000 prestige points, but we can't be far off. Right, what's, what's negative? Piranha looks stressed. A couple of stressed fish. Mic headset be hidden out of the way. What? Is somebody getting behind the scenes here? How are people behind this? Oh, it's because of this access area, which I have yet to close off. Okay. Mega RO machine. Is anyone... Yeah, there are a couple of people that are stuck behind... Behind the staff doors here. Uh, nobody else? Don't think so. Think everyone's out. Cool. All right. That's mostly that's mostly acceptable then. Very acceptable. Man, we are flying through this research. We are very definitely researching machines. This is good news. Very very good news, in fact. Lack of supplements. We're on it. Don't worry about it. My team of crack feeders are are on the job. All right, that's that's looking a little bit better. 5,400 out of the 6,000 bits of prestige that we need in order to level up. That is much more akin to what I was actually anticipating. I don't want to get some I don't want to get some massage chairs. That seems like a seems like a disaster. Should we get an OJ machine? Let's get an OJ machine or two. Throw one up at the front as well. Yeah, sure. Throw an OJ machine in there. Excellent. I feel like I really don't... I really don't put down the amenities as often as I should. So, let's put a few more down, shall we? Self-serve Froyo. The, uh, the less said about that, the better, I think. A copper band toy shelf. Wonderful. I guess this is turning into a pseudo gift shop type of area. Which I'm completely okay with as that was kind of always the intent. Large RO machine. Wonderful. Chicago tank. I can't open this area up anymore so I'm going to have to put... A little bit of a uh, little bit of an open area over here, and this is for the copper band toy supply. That's cool. And then what else? I needed one more thing, didn't I? I think I did. A shark hat shelf. There we go. It would actually make sense if this was in the corner, although I don't think it's going to fit. I guess we can throw that in there, right? Sure, throw that in there. And then throw down a throw down a shark resupply, a shark hat supply. There we go. Excellent. So just on your way out, you're going to be offered the chance to buy an exclusive bit of shark merchandise or a stuffed copper band copper band fish toy. I don't I don't know. I, I don't know if that's a particularly novel type of fish. It looks like a very cute fish from what I can see. But there we are. Okay, loads and loads of emails. I imagine this is exactly what running an actual aquarium is like. A couple of dead fish. A green anaconda. What the heck? We can buy snakes? That That is a snake, right? I guess it's like a water snake? Hmm. Well, I'm interested. Very interested. I also want to find somewhere for my octopi. Can I stick them in with the jellyfish? Stick them in with a jellyfish. Fighting congeners. What? Jellyfish and octopi don't get along? That's a tremendous shame. This greater this greater blue octopus is pretty pretty darn small, actually. Uh half and half chloromus. Is there any chance that maybe we can ditch some of these fish? And perhaps move some of the octopi across here. Oh, uh, I see what the issue is. We can only have one in each tank. What's the issue? What's the issue with you guys? Uh, congeners only. 
Okay. Right. Well. What about... Well, these, these octopus eat stuff, don't they? They eat stuff between a size of one to two. What's the size of the half and half? The half and half's a three. Clownfish is a three. Okay, you know what? Let's throw in... Let's throw in an octopus over here. Sell one of the Nemo fish. Then move this guy around a little bit. Into there. Excellent. So, is that everyone happy now? Apart from the fact that we don't have, you know, the pumping sorted completely. Yeah, that's actually totally fine. Dislikes congeners cannot be housed with a cephalo cephalopod? I don't know what that means. Is this a cephalopod? I have absolutely no idea what that means. Absolutely zero conception of what that means at all. Uh, but we need more We need more pumping, basically. We need more, more pumping stuff. Let's move this around. Let's get it tweaked. Throw in a large skimmer over there. Throw in a large skimmer over here. Uh, not even a large skimmer, or not even a regular skimmer will do. I think it'll have to be a nitrate, a nitrate reactor. Sure. No, in fact, it will not even be a nitrate reactor. It will need to be a large nitrate reactor. That does the trick. Excellent. So, that's good. We're good. We're good on that front. And we're good on this front, too. Excellent, excellent, excellent. So, we've got two octopuses, and they both seemingly are living happy and healthy lives. I like that. A Chicago tank. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. So, that's all of our prestige. Uh, all of our prestige points, or all of our prestige ranked research done. That's all of our fish research done as well. We are literally waiting on the next level up here, which I think in order to do that, we need to get a dwarf crocodile, right? Missed its last feeding. That's that's fine. That's fine. We're we're managing. There are a lot of stressed out. There are a lot of stressed out fish. Atlantic cod looks stressed. Really? Because of the feeding situation. I mean, that's really not good if, if indeed we are... Okay, you know what? Just hire absolutely everyone. Hire absolutely everyone. We've got, like, a massive new people coming in. We need to make sure that everything is actually... Actually getting fed. Okay. Lots of fish are breeding. Excellent. The problem is that some of the, some of the skills that need to be... Some of the jobs that need to be undertaken need to have people who have real skill. Apparently, feeding isn't just as simple as throwing fish food into a tank. Apparently, sometimes it requires slightly more effort than that. The more you know, eh? Okay. Keep hiring. Keep hiring all these people. Dare I even look at the finances to see what the, uh, to see what the situation is? Undoubtedly going to end up losing more money because of the fact that I'm employing a lot more people. Staff salaries jumped by, well, a very large number. That's like an extra $400 a day. But at the end of the day, it didn't really affect the... It didn't really affect the bottom line. Let's keep on hiring people. Let's keep on hiring people, even if they're not up to scratch. And they're not able to always feed all of the fish. That's still fine. Okay, great. All repaired, all fed... I think this lack of swimming space? Really? What's the what's the issue here? So you need Oh wow, the tank is over capacity. Requires a tank with at least 174. It needs a larger tank. Um and what is what does this tank have? 150. I mean, we can make a larger tank, I believe. We can make a larger tank and then just transfer it across. That's not out with the realm of possibility. Eh, let, let's do it, I guess, then. Let's, let's, let's freaking go. Okay. Excellent. Everything in there. Cool. 
Okay, so that's all the decorations. It's gonna be a little bit inconvenient to stick into the same spot, but it will fit. Yeah, so we want it to go back a little bit, which means that we need to remove, or we need to move this. Just get it linked up to... Get linked up to this for now? No? Okay. Get linked up to that for now, even though it's going to mess up with the... Mess up the system. Don't worry about it too much. Now I'm unable to place this in here? What's the... What's the dealio? Uh... Actually, you know, I think I'll take that. I think I will actually take that. That's... That's very adequate. That's very adequate, actually. It needs to get moved across into there. That moved across into there. That goes there like so. Uh, there's now a temperature issue, which I can rectify by quickly replacing this. It's mega chiller, it needs to be. And then, oh, we're not going to have enough space, so I should probably throw down... Should probably move this around a little bit. Yeah, so do that. Like so. And then one large or one regular basic filter or basic chiller to keep things cool. Okay, and that fixes the that fixes the issue that the uh, that the starry smooth hound was having. Excellent. Very, very good. Yeah, and you know what? It actually doesn't change the design altogether too much. So with all of these additional staff members employed, are we fixing things faster than we usually are? Mm, not really. i tell you what I will do. I've got plenty of money. I've got plenty of money, but absolutely no... Absolutely no ability to increase my staff's feeding level without going through the emails and clicking very, very slowly on all of the level up buttons. So what I think I'm going to do is I think I'm just going to buy I'm going to buy a ridiculously large number of feeding stick dispensers. There we go. Literally. Literally that many. And so feeding stick dispensers increase the level of feeders by one so we can have like a level one oh goodness gracious me that was very laggy for a second uh, you can have a level one feeder feeding level two fish if they use a feeding stick are people going to use feeding sticks i don't really know it doesn't really look like they're using them to be honest maybe the levels are actually okay at this moment in time All right hire some more people just to be on the safe side just to be on the safe side. We'll, we'll get a few more members of staff. How am I looking? Financially, very, very good. Very, very good, but that doesn't take account of staff salaries, which are going to come in at the end of the day. But even with staff salaries, it looks like, yeah, it looks like we've returned a pretty darn good profit, to be honest. Goodness gracious me, that's very, very slow. There's just so many different tanks to feed. And they just all need to be fed so darn regularly, don't they? Okay, what are the guest what are the guest thoughts? Are the guest thoughts still that a couple of fish are stressed? That horse eye jack looks stressed. This aquarium is untidy. How on earth is this aquarium untidy? Oh, I, I also think that we do need a couple more benches just throughout the place. There are a disturbing lack of benches, which I can in fact sort with relative ease. You know, just a bench here and there. Uh, also, maybe just in general, some more... Uh, some more toilets. Would be a good idea. Some benches over there. Benches over here. Yeah, just throw them down. Excellent. So if that doesn't get us over the line, I don't think anything will. That's not true. I think there is a multitude of things that we can do to get us across the line. A lot of these, like, high-tier fish I haven't actually got because we've researched them all so darn quickly. 
The lump sucker. I still don't even have the lump sucker. Uh, and there's a couple of bits of coral that I've not got. Plate coral. Don't have that. Um, suspect that this will need a a new coral tank. Unless I was able to throw that in there. Is that does that work? Plate coral. It needs level 15 lights. Uh, that's actually totally fine, right? Level 15 lights. Oh, I need to sell the lights first, of course, don't I? Don't really get why that's the case. Why not just sell the lights when I click to place them? Excellent. Okay, so that takes care of that brand new coral. And the other one. The staghorn coral. Can I throw that in? Is there space for space for a small one? Looks like there is. Uh, the filtration quality, but the filtration quality I think can be fixed. Can it be fixed? No, it cannot be fixed. Right, let's get a large nitrate dispenser then. There we go. And that does just exactly what it should be doing. Brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. And so how are we doing prestige-wise? Still, still a little bit, still a little bit short. The red-bellied piranha looks stressed. Why is the red-bellied piranha stressed? Have we got a couple of... We've got a couple of dead... A couple of dead fish? No. No, we don't. That's fine. We've got plenty. We've got plenty of... We've got plenty of... Uh, oh, no, no, no. Don't do that. Uh, we've got plenty of happy happy piranhas. Sounds weird to say, but it's true. Look at the size of these catfish. Goodness gracious me. Yeah, so, you know, there are a couple of fish that are unhappy. Undoubtedly, there are. But, I mean, that's just part of the... That's just part of the fact that we've run a, a huge, absolutely gargantuan tank. Fox face rabbit fish. You're coexisting with another green pellet eater. I'm afraid you're going to have to survive. Well, there's plenty of pellets to go around. Don't you know the expression? It's literally that simple. Still we're not managing still we're not managing to keep up with all of the tasks that need to be performed though. Like there are just genuinely too many too many things to do. And I think that is causing a tremendous amount of stress to all of the fish. And that's, in turn, having a knock-on negative effect to the prestige. Because everything looks stressed, because everything is hungry, because none of the staff can feed the fish quick enough. So that's why I'm just hiring people literally as they are becoming available. I think it looks like we're mostly on top of the tasks now, though. Oh, you bought a fish hat. Uh, a shark hat, even. Uh, excellent. Uh, water filtration quality over here is very poor. Can we see to it that it's rectified? Please. Ah, yes. We're fixing a mega filter. That's cool. Just wanted to make sure. Just wanted to make sure, because on that note, ladies and gents, we're going to wrap this episode of Mega Aquarium up. Holy cow, look at the size of this aquarium. Uh, we've still got to develop the sleek area a little bit. We've still got to develop the freshwater area a little bit. But, you know, certainly... We're going to be getting a crocodile in the next episode. You bet your bottom dollar we're actually going to get a flipping crocodile. And also some other cool fish as well. We got octopus this episode, which was pretty darn cool. Uh, but, you know, more cool stuff to come. Thank you, as ever, to the fantastic Patreon supporters over at patreon.com forward slash all potato. Thanks also to Banana and C-Senpai for being the two $25 plus tier patrons. Thank you very much for watching, folks, and I'll see you next time. Bye.